Wow. <laughs> What's up, y'all? This is Uncle P. I am so excited. Listen, I got uh, three things to cover in this video for you guys, so please pay attention to everything I'm going to go over. Uh, it's going to bless your trading week, man. I'm just actually very, very elated. All right. So first of all, um, in this video, I got to go over some things so um, that you guys can understand how we flow over here when we're trading. We don't mark up charts anymore. A lot of you guys spent the weekend marking up your charts. You got a lot of people who you watch on YouTube who's marking up charts. That is completely gone. We don't waste our time with it. We just make a tremendous amount of pips. And let me show you the results of what I'm talking about. So here we go. Uh, right here, this is uh, one of my Telegram channels. I run several Telegram channels, but this is one of them. So this is literally what we've been posting in here. So you're actually getting a sneak peek into with this. But since, and I'm, I could go back further and further and further, but this is just since uh, we released the Ocean Wave trade video. So this is part number one. Remember, there's three parts of this video. So I'm just going to go with this part real quick. Look at this, man. This is people who's, look, look just look what this is. Again, in my favorite stress feed, wow, I entered a few minutes ago, ocean wave trade going crazy. Look at this. I'm having too much fun, Uncle P. Man, look again. See, this is somebody else marked up and you can see ocean wave is going nuts and it just goes on and on and on and on. Here's some, some posts from the signals group as well. With the signals group, we do let them know in our groups, uh, you know, those who have simplicity as well that, uh, you know, news events, so they'll be aware. Look at this. This is somebody who just crushed it, uh, right here. Um, uh, look at this afterwards. Wow. See, it says, wow. I so wish I took this trade in my live account, but the magic of the ocean wave system is godsend. See, this is somebody showing you what I was talking about where just look at that. Just easy stuff. Just easy, easy, easy. And I can go on and on and on of just showing you guys endless numbers of trades. Sometimes I post mine in here so they can see what's going on. I want to read a comment uh, that's in here as well. Look at this. This is somebody who showed a before and after of their trades. And this is the signals group showing post in there. Let me keep going. I want to show you guys something in particular. Look at that. This is me. So. Here's what I was wanting to show you guys. For those who are in doubt about passing profit and challenges, this is something I posted in the group because I was actually, some of the videos I have been posting for you guys on my channel on YouTube, I was actually using, I told you, I told you that I was using a prop firm challenge account. So as of last week, here we go. Uncle P passes another challenge today. See, using the, nothing but the ocean wave system. Okay, very easy. So it was a hundred, one of hundred thousand dollar, you know, small accounts, hundred thousand dollar accounts, just to show proof, proof of actions. So that when you're looking at my videos on YouTube for the last week or so, that was actually this prop firm account for a hundred thousand dollar again. And you can stack these up until you trade in, you know, million dollar accounts, whatever. But I'm just showing you that it actually works. So here's the last week's trades. You can see everything was blue for a total of forty eight hundred. Uh, dollars on a hundred thousand. Let me help you guys with this. Just a little side note. When you're trading prop firm accounts, okay, when you're trading prop firm accounts, they typically want a 10% increase. Me personally, they have phase ones. Um, they have one, one phase challenges now. Some companies do one phase challenges and some has one and two phase challenges. Me, I'm kind of anxious. I don't like wasting my time with going proving twice how good I am. Uh, so this particular one, uh, I actually went for the one phase challenge. And as you can see, they, when it was, I didn't even close my trades yet. They sent me an alert saying, Hey, you've already passed the challenge. Go ahead and shut down all your trades and da, 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 da. And so I posted this to the group so that they can see, Hey, here's the trades I took and they can verify with their own ocean wave system to see, okay, he's right. And so, yeah, in that one day, I made 4,800 bucks. There you go. So the, 10% that they want it, which means if you have a $100,000 account, you have to push it to 110 to pass the challenge. So I had already passed it, and these the trades I were in was still running in profit. I had left now. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, so uh, it would have hit on 110, 110,460 bucks. So I was $460 over what was needed. Because again, when I take my trades, I leave. I don't have to sit around staring at the charts no more. 
Uh, so I was showing them, hey, at the end of the close, this is where I close it out. So I passed another challenge. And here's the one that really pushed it over the edge. After I closed this one out, I went to another account and took this trade with the Ocean Wave. You can see it was just so simple. Look at this. 80 smooth pips. And for those of you who came to my Wednesday class, did I not tell you that small candles are king? I told you over and over and over again, and I've been saying this for years, small candles are king. All these people who want to trade these fast pairs on the shortest time for, I'm going to trade the fast pairs on the one minute. I'm going to trade the fast pairs on the five minute. I'm a, Okay, you keep losing. Okay, keep doing your thing. Look what time frame I was using. The, the 30 minute GBP NZD, small candle, see, just small. Rhythmic, I know where it's going. Once it hit what I was looking for, the half and half, MACD in agreement, the arrow's there. I just took this trade and I went to sleep because I had no concerns about this thing jumping and jerking around and, and possibly hitting my stop loss. I had no concerns at all. So I literally can go to sleep with my pit prayer. Now I lay me down to sleep. I play the Lord my pips to keep. I, I literally can just go to sleep now. Literally, no marking up charts, no worries. And this was a trade after I had already closed out that other account with 80 smooth pips. So this thing is just beasting out. So again, it's on you guys. So I want to read one more comment and then let me get to the news, the facts and the data. Here's some more people on Friday uh, trading out the same thing. Look at this. How could you have not taken this trade? I mean, that would have been like, why would you have not taken this trade? This is one of our students. Look at this. Why would you have not taken it? Look at that. What is this telling you? What is this telling you? You get what I'm saying? It's just, everybody can't be wrong. Look at all these posts on Friday from students on Friday. This is somebody who traded gold, one of the students. Look at this. What is it telling you? Look, see? And they're showing real profits. Everybody can't be wrong. Here goes somebody else. Look at that. 740 bucks in profit. What did this person say? New system works like gold. There you go. You remember that CAD trade that I just showed you? They held on to it and look what happened. <laughs> crazy. This is crazy. So anyway, let me get to the news, the facts, and the data. And uh, as far as the signals group, um, uh, they closed out. Uh, uh, the total pips from the live and all that stuff was like over 11,000 or so some crazy number like that so if you want to join the signals group be welcome to do so let me read this one last email i can't show the email because it has the person's full name and I, you know i told them i won't show their full name but they said uh i'll just his first name is joe and he said hey uncle p i passed a prop firm challenge this week using only the ocean wave system Here's my certificate, and he actually emailed proof of his certificate, and he said, I actually used the Ocean Wave system for strictly scalping, and it has improved my scalping accuracy from 63% to 88%. So, me personally, if I was you, and I've already seen some trade setups that I like, for this week, I'm, I can't wait for the market to open. Remember, I used to teach y'all don't touch on, don't touch the markets on Sundays. Now with the Ocean Wave system, Sundays and Mondays are one of my favorite days to trade. I can't wait for the market to open. <laughs> I can't wait. At least I'm not going to trade for the first hour of the trading day. But I found a, a whole lot which I can show y'all. But I ain't going to even do it like that. So anyway. I found one that just runs so smooth and easy. I can't wait for the market to open. Let the amateur hour, the first hour of the day go past, and I'm going to hop in that thing, and, and then I'm going on uh, on a date with my wife. We're going on Segways, uh, those little, you know, things. It's happening. So anyway, let me get on with this. All right, so here's their website, OceanWaveTrade.com, or now you can go to our main website, Super Easy Forex, and we added a tab there where you can get it right here. Uh, so I know the screen kind of cut off, uh, but anyway, uh, it's right here. You can just click on that red button so you can go either way. All right, let's get to the news. So on this week, which is what making me even more excited because I did enter, I finished one challenge, I get into another one. That's what I do. And you just keep stacking up in challenges until you have a bulk of accounts that you can trade as much money as you desire. So I'm already 
uh, just launched uh, another account. And so I'm excited to get into that one. While this, this one that I just passed, they sent me my credentials. It is a funded account now. So this will be another account that I'll be trading for a 100K account. So I got that one plus another challenge plus other accounts I'm trading. I'm just stacking them up, just stacking them up. Okay. So here's the point. I am excited not only because of the ocean wave system and because I've already looked at some potentials, uh, targets for me to trade, uh, this evening. But in addition to that, as you can see, news is here, but it's lightweight. There's nothing in my opinion, do your own due diligence. There is nothing in my opinion that will stall you out from being successful this week. If you're having a prop firm challenge or whatsoever else, there's no way that you cannot pass it using the ocean wave system. And especially because news is very light. Okay, so here's the deal. On Tuesday, so that means, watch what I'm saying, and this is just my due diligence, please do your own. I told you guys, now with the Ocean Wave system, one of my favorite days to trade is Sundays and Mondays. Did you hear what I said? Sundays and Mondays is my favorite. And in addition to that, Sunday is one of my favorite now because on Sundays, there's typically no news events of major concern at all, if any. And as you can see on Sunday and Monday, I don't have anything on my schedule that I saw that's going to be coming out this week that's going to affect the market. So since I have the ocean wave system, remember what I told you guys in class, reversal traders cannot really partake in the markets until midweek. But trend traders have the advantage in the beginning of the week. So therefore, with the ocean wave, since it's primarily a trend trading system, I can go ahead and hit these markets hard before news even begins for the week. Do you guys get what I'm saying? Why I'm excited. Why? Look at the news schedule. This week on Sunday and Monday, I personally did not see anything of importance that will affect the markets. Therefore, I have free reign to do what I want to do. Okay. Number two, when it does come out on Tuesday, here's a couple of things that I'm looking at. Only the CAD has some something of importance to me, and that's their inflation rate. So on Tuesday, I'll probably leave CAD alone until after the new news event is over. Then on Tuesday again, you have the U.S. dollar coming out with retail numbers. Now, typically, it does not impact the Forex market too much, although it can, although it can. Retail numbers typically affect the stock market. Okay. So if you're trading indices such as the S&P 500, the NAS or the US 30, then you do want to pay attention to these retail numbers because it can spark the market because it does affect the stock market. So if you're trying to scalp or trade these markets, you do want to pay attention to the retail numbers because it does affect that more than it does affect currency pairs. Okay. Now, G GBP or the Great British Pound, they are coming out with their inflation numbers, but that's not until Wednesday. Euro come out with their CPIs. Remember I said what the CPI is? It is the Consumer Price Index or the Customer Price Inflation Numbers. That's what I would call it. Cons customer Price Inflation. That's what I'm oh, That's pretty good, Pete. Let me put that in here. That's what I'm start calling it. Customer. And I'll tell you why momentarily. All right, I'm going to say Customer. Price inflation numbers. That's what we're going to do from here on out. All right. And what that means is consumer price index is our, and this is just my opinion, this is our way of judging the inflation numbers. you got the feds and everybody else and all these other governments trying to judge inflation based on what they know. But truth be told, and this is the truth, and i got to be honest with you guys, when inflation hits, the little man always take the hit because they're bragging about, oh, inflation numbers are coming down here in the U.S. The problem is when these prices get inflated, meaning your grocery bill, your rent, your car notes, and all this, your interest rates for your home and all these things, when those things get inflated, they brag about bringing down the inflation numbers. But does that actually bring down your numbers? No, because once prices normalize at a certain level, they never come back down again. Now, you can see fluctuations in your gas prices, but in your rent, your grocery bills, and things like that, once those prices hit those levels, they don't come back down. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And you're talking to a person who used to own tons of property, 
as a landlord. So what happens is that becomes the new market norm. So when we renting out our places, it's called we're more at market rent, market level rent. Okay, that means that this is the new average. So in other words, if in prices has inflated rents to fourteen hundred for a one bedroom and everybody's renting at four hundred, fourteen hundred a month, then if I decide to rent my apartment at market rent, then automatically I am also going to be raising my rents from maybe a thousand dollars to fourteen hundred bucks. Why? It's inflated and has become the new norm. So if that happens to customers, they're the ones always taking a hit. This is why it's sad to see inflation. The little man always get hit. Now, when I used to own a lot of rental properties, what I used to do, I used to keep my rents below market and I never would raise them because I knew that I would be hurting the, the little man if I did it every year raising up rents. I didn't do that. That was, that was, I never thought that was a good business practice, but that's a different story. Let's move on. On Wednesday, we do have employment rates, which is like, uh, you know, uh, NFP for the U.S., non-foreign payroll. So this is their employment numbers on the AUD. And then last but not least, Wednesday, uh, on Thursday, you do have the JPY coming out with their inflation rates. But overall, you see, it's not that big of a news event week. So I, I plan on just having a ball with this new account. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm just going to ball out. I'm finna ball out. And uh, so anyway, I'll wrap this video up. It was longer than I anticipated, but I'm so excited about what's going on. All the testimonies that's coming in off the Ocean Wave system and the students who are now attending my Wednesday class, which again, if this is your first time tuning in, keep in mind, it is open to the public. You don't have to buy anything. You can just drop in every Wednesday. The link is below in the description. Just click on that Zoom link at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I suggest you get in a few minutes early because I opened the room up 30 minutes in advance to make sure because this has a limited amount of room. So you do want to click on the link, get in before 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can actually talk directly with me during my question and answer period. So if you ever say, hey, I would love to talk to Uncle P and ask him this, you actually can now every Wednesday, okay? Every Wednesday, it's open to the public. Just drop on in. I do lecture for a little while. Then I stop and do a question and answer period, okay? And then I do go over charts one at a time to show look for setups uh, so that you guys can learn how Uncle P is judging and looking at these charts, okay? So I do that as well so that you guys can get conditioned to see, okay, what is he looking at, okay? All right, so I'll close this video out, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.